favorite. Stop moving. Sorry, I'm not moving. Just like all over the place. <laughs> just like it's like trying to track a seagull or something. Just like all over the place. <laughs> That's, um, that's why he's a pro Genji. Oh god, that's a horrible joke. You don't even get a it. A what? No, I don't. There's a YouTuber called A Seagull, and he plays Overwatch. One of the characters he plays a lot is Genji, and basically the idea of the character is to jump around all over the place. So it's a joke right. you don't get. No. Uh, maybe the viewers no. will. Well. <laughs> Ahoy there, my noodles, noodlets, and other nondescript pasta. I love that intro. Right, so we are back in Interstellar Rift with <gasps> this amazing person who I forget your name. Not really, because it says there right Where? there. What? what? The holotable. Who? Would you? Oh, yes. <laughs> love the holotable. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> We're in Interstellar Rift with the amazing Epic Thetis. So, yes, thank you for this amazing series, by the way. Just. Plug You're using the word amazing too much. Because it is! I mean, but it okay. is. I, I have to just. But come up with a synonym. I'm going to buy you a thermostat. <laughs> Wait, did I say thermostat? <laughs> yes, you did. I and did. that's totally staying. I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to buy you a thermostat so you can look up other optional words, you know, synonyms and things. Yeah, and then and then. And by the way, it's getting a little warm in here. I'm gonna go check the thesaurus and see what the temperature is. I was just right. about to say that. <laughs> okay, back to the hollow table and yeah. things that we're thinking. So we don't have an extractor on this ship. We don't have a refinery on this ship, which means every time we want to, like, you know. What? Every time we have to turn off the light, we have to look yeah, Every up. time you want to turn off the light, no, no. <laughs> um, so every time we want to refine or extract something, uh, we have to go find a facility to do that. And so then we started talking about, okay, how could we add that to this ship? And then we're like, there's no room left on this ship. And then we started talking about, hey, what if we were to do like pirates do and set up our hidden secret base? Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, a, a port of call, a home away from home. And if I continue this sentence, uh, copyright strike. But, um, what? But yeah, what? I, 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 <laughs> I was, um, I was basically starting to quote the beginning of Babylon 5. <laughs> A port of call, oh. a home away from home. <laughs> I was just uh, going okay. with it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure you can you can quote that without a copyright strike. I in this day and age, <laughs> I don't want to take the chance. <laughs> <laughs> you can no longer speak the name. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. So we were thinking we don't want to do it here in Tanael Tan Tanolnea. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a drifter-ish place, but it's not... Uh, oh, no, it's I mean, not. No, we just got here. No. Right. Yeah, we just got here to do a thing, and I think we're going to be leaving soon. Um, and there's a lot of Skrill in this area, and there's really not much else. So we're thinking... We're thinking we're going to head back to... What was it? Scavarian. Scavarian, which has a black pit. If you look, and it is the giant skull. The, the system with a giant skull in it. I want to go up on the hollow table and get closer. Um, the orb is too big. There we go. Okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Scratch everything I just said. It's it's the so, system over here with the with the. So is this? No. It, it's got the skull on it. Oh, this one. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. So if I hit E. Then it should select it. I can look down here. Scavarian, yeah, which is pretty much squirrel free. Good grief, look at that. I mean, not quite, but certainly not a lot. Well, it's actually the starter area for drifters. So. Oh, is that why there's almost no S? Or no, there's zero S3. Wait, really? There's zero S3? As far as I can tell. But yeah, there's zero S. That's okay. Yeah. No, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So the um, the nice thing about that, we'd be able to go and get most of our materials out in the that surrounds the cloud of asteroids that surrounds the solar system. 
And it's got all these things and these quantities, which is, you know, most of what we need. We can get stuff in other places as well. Yeah, the, the but, rare resources are we're going to have to probably go outside the system for. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, we're probably going to be taking missions outside. But what we can do is we can set up our own space station out there. And we can have an extractor on the space station. And every once in a while, we'll just put a few small thrusters on it. And we can move the space station around. Yeah, and and just... we can gather, you know, asteroids and that kind of thing. It won't be quite like a starter station because the asteroids will get depleted, but then we just move a little bit, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> it, to yeah. Bad, too bad you can't, like, set up an orbit to just have it orbit around the system. Just go. That would be cool. Going through the clouds. And eventually, when they add the feature, we'll be able to buy um, mining and training, trading drones. Oh, that's right. And then we can yeah. have it go and trade with things like uh, the Black Pit. In theory, I mean, I don't know how all that works, but one way or another, even if we can't trade, you know, using trade drones, having having a port of call out in the middle of the cloud, way far away from anything else, um, I think is an awesome idea. And then we can also have multiple ships. So we can have a ship that's dedicated to fighting, a ship that's dedicated to um, mining if we need really really need stuff mined that kind of thing and this ship i feel is pretty much dedicated to raiding that's yeah that's what it feels yeah yeah no this is a this is a great like destroy everything that moves sort of ship but eventually i want to make a larger version of this but we'll see not much larger a little bit larger what the man of war <laughs> No, I was going to say something, but I forgot exactly what I was going to say. It was it was semi-important, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. We're going to need a lot of storage space, too. Because what we could do yep. is um, we can't have, like, a vault or anything on it because that's admin stuff. But we could put an area that's, like, a giant cargo bay. Now, that could yeah. be used for multiple reasons. One, to stash all of our stuff, obviously. But yeah. two, um, you also have to remember that one of the updates they want to do is add player shops. Which means if there's a shop, right. it'll be tied to um, whatever. Now, for right now, that's not an issue because it's yeah. just the three of us. Which apparently Cosmic is sleeping in his bunk somewhere. Oh, also a little thing that we should probably you know mention that people have noticed and haven't necessarily said anything about. Um, you removed your helmet. Oh, yeah. I, I did. I Maybe that was the thing I was going to mention. Um, <laughs> yes, I did. And you did, too. You, you removed yes, I did. your amazing hair. We should go in a and I love brighter your, area. I, I love your, your hair. It's, it's so... <laughs> it's not purple. Well, yeah, because purple is my color. I'm surprised it's not green. <laughs> um, I don't think there was a green, <laughs> Oh, I, I have no idea. I saw there was a purple, and that's all I cared about. So I clicked on yeah. that, and then just... Yeah. <laughs> Out of all the hairstyles, I think this one was, like, the best one. I mean, the... Yeah. The ponytail was pretty good too, but I was like, uh. So, so can you do me a favor? It's okay. I'll cut that out of the episode. You um, <laughs> <laughs> I make a good joke and you cut it. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to leave that part in where I'm like, I make a good joke and you cut it, but you're going to cut the actual joke. Uh huh. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yep. I'll insert something about like a chicken crossing a road or something. <laughs> do you intentionally. Do, I'm just. I have a question. <laughs> Do you intentionally make sure that you're not in my line of sight? Because every time I move my <laughs> my view to where you are, you go somewhere else. <laughs> I don't do it intentionally, I swear. Mm -hmm. Whenever I talk, I just move around. It's just like, yeah. have, like I've out noticed of frame this. Every I... time. What do you say we head over to Skibarian and try and scope out a good spot? That sounds like a plan. What? Our sheer... Our shield Jesus. barely drained. Oh yeah. Our shield, shields, shields. Our shields barely drained. Our shields barely drained. Shields. Shields are pretty I don't know what I just did. I apologize to. <laughs> Happy Any, Leaf Erickson every, Day. Everybody. Hing ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. SpongeBob references, yay. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> okay. I left, I left that in my last episodes too. In my last episode, the the legal legal thing, and I was just like, oh well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you oh, saw it. It hey, was amazing. Speaking of which, I had somebody message me on Discord, and wow, their that's, name. That's amazing. Because oh no yeah, it's amazing. All right. Anyway, <laughs> their name is Smitty Warben Jager Jensen. Oh, oh yeah, I got messaged by Schmitty Werben Jaeger Manchinson too. And I, song. at first, I was like, why does that sound so? And then I remembered that that is an awesome SpongeBob reference. Yeah, that, like it's it's not completely like in your face, but once you get it, you're like, oh mm -hmm. my god, how did I not realize that? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it. <laughs> We've reached the cloud. Awesome. Oh god. What? Um... I don't know if you can hear the beeping. We almost smacked into an asteroid. Oh, okay. Oh god! Would you, what are you doing? <laughs> I came out of warp and then the, the, the asteroid is right in front of me, like two inches from my face. And then we smack into it. There's a lot of very big useless asteroids out here in the cloud. <laughs> we have to be extremely careful, but it's the perfect place to hide something. Oh my god. Oh, I just had a really cool idea. Well, you had next to the Next to the tele... Oh, shush you. Next to the teleporter area of our next ship, I want to have a couple different rooms with archways, and the archways will be labeled with each crew member, and they'll have a weapons locker, or sorry, two weapons lockers, and an item locker. And one weapons locker will have armor, the other one will have weapons, and then the item will have, um, like, rations and... Sorry, like health pack, ration things, and um, ammo. And that way we can suit up before every... Like, it's like a personal locker thing. I like that idea. It's a really cool idea. Okay. We could just go and get more resources. To get we could. Yeah, actually, maybe that's a better idea. Yeah. Because just... this is, like... <laughs> that was becoming nothing. We could <laughs> it was dump... becoming... It was like, why bother? We could dump everything out of our uh, our vault. Alright, where's the closest Yeah. Vault? Mainly iron, steel, and copper. And and then we can... Um, and then we should actually... Because the thing is, once we can get a um, an extractor and a refinery, then we can start gathering steel and I or iron and copper and carbon and that sort of thing. Alright, I found us what I believe has a vault, and it's pretty close. Yay. Like, it literally sounds like... A refinery station? I mean, we can... Re we should be able to maybe extract and refine. It should have a vault on it. You think? Yeah. Okay. Most of them do. Yeah. Well, I'm over here. Well, And there's some just copper laying around. Thanks. Well, there you go. There's, there's the copper we need. Well, it's not enough. Oh, I remember this station. This one has... Up on the top floor, oh yeah, piles of stuff. I love this place. <laughs> These stations are my favorites. I don't remember the station. I probably will once I see it. Yeah, you will. You're just gonna be like, oh the. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be just annoyed because there's no actual vault. <laughs> it's like, ah. Yeah, I don't think there's a vault. Oh, you know what? Dang it. Teleported a bunch of raw material. Oh, right. I'm so used to having a uh, a refinery, so this we need station. to. Yeah. See, this one's fun because it has a lot of good stuff. Oh, I learned something very important. You can only have five missions at a time. Oh, okay. Welcome back to the Royal Games. Yar. Yar. All right. Can you take us back out to the cloud? Yep. Did we get steel? Do we have steel? I think we'll be okay. I think we got enough steel. I think we're okay with steel. 
And we can always head back. Me too. Doesn't take that long to go back. I, I gotta find the cloud again. Here we go. And now there's scroll showing up on the. <laughs> oh. Oh, hi. What are what? you, beautiful? What? A rich asteroid. Oh, nice. That would give us a reason to start. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Making an extractor. Speaking of which, how much is an extract? Let's see. Or, uh, sorry, a strip miner. Which is my favorite thing in existence. You, well, yes. <laughs> it just looks like the model and animations for the strip miner are just so good. Yeah. So 7,500 aluminum is the hardest part. The rest is all iron and steel. That's doable. It's it's like tech porn. <laughs> <sighs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, I get yeah. Okay, so let me let me explain in case you put this in the video. Let me explain for the viewers. <laughs> the definition of pornography is literally meaning something that entices like entices you. It doesn't have to necessarily literally be naked women. It could be someone who really, 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 really enjoys technology or even animations. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's animation yeah. tech porn. It's amazing. <laughs> it's fun to make fun of you, though. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. What are you? It's a gigantic asteroid of of water. Which is good, because we can make mm -hmm. high infinite fuel. Infinite hydrogen, yeah. I'm kind of making... I'm making sure that I'm making a base that has lots of room to expand mm. without trying to make the whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm kind of making a circular center to the whole thing. Oh, oh, nice. So you'll, you'll see when we get there, but... Um... I'm going to put out a beacon. Okay. So we can you find this asteroid again. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be like a blob in space until we can get some more iron and, and copper and stuff. Oh shoot! I almost Bang. forgot to put in cargo container or cargo pads. Well, there goes up the price of the iron again. Yeah, but it shouldn't be too bad. They're only fifty iron each. I think the first project we should do, um, as part of this, is get up enough resources to put a strip miner on that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. This was an amazing idea to put this thing in here. The ship builder. I'm glad Cosmic thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> Did he though? No, of course not. He just wanted to shoot things. No! No! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm taking moderate pleasure in your pain. Maybe I, what if I back it. away from it? Did that work? Not really. <laughs> You're backing up, so... Yeah, but it, I still, like... The whole world, like... It, <laughs> it's like, can't even load what I'm looking at. <laughs> Oh. Um. oh, that gives me an interesting. Okay. I teleported back to our ship. I want to see if that helped. No! I walked over here, and as soon as the screen came on, oh, it started laggios. frame rate lagging again. Um, just just take your time and click the button. That's that's, that's what I'm that, gonna do. Yeah. But I was kind of curious to see if that would help. Anyway, what were you saying you were gonna change about the ship? Um, I'm gonna put like right over here behind the captain's chair, or somewhere over here. I'm going to put one of those terminals because we need one of them. Yeah, there. I know. There's there's been more than once that I have done that same thing. Like I need a terminal. And there's yeah. nothing here. Okay, uh, let me see if I can remove something that um, 
that might make it possible to build this thing. If we had enough to make a refinery and we had enough like carbon and iron or something, but no, it's no. We need to run back and get more steel. I'm gonna jump over and grab a whole steel and iron and all kinds of things. Okay. Thinking about right. Grab me up steel. Okay. All right. Was that our big hydrogen asteroid? It is. We're a little bit close to Skrill, about seven, five point seven k. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Well, I'll put out the. Um, I'll we'll make this station. I'm gonna build Cove Station, which we should. Yeah, now we have plenty of stuff. Um, and then we can actually set it up to start processing. And we'll start moving things over to it. And oh, I didn't put a shield generator. Dang it! I am gonna put that on. That's the one thing I don't want to, to not have. Yeah, we're we're gonna definitely need it. I could probably do better with lights. <laughs> oh, I had my flashlight on. I was like, it looks fine to me, but I just had my flashlight on. Uh, all right, let's let's see this. Lights okay. are good. Did in you here. say you had oxygen? Have a little bit. Okay. Um, access denied. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fleet and crew. <laughs> what? Um, I'll let you figure it out. Just, just take a minute and uh, you know, look around the room once you're done. Did I do something wrong? Yeah. Oh, I'll, you I'll know what? You I know what. I'll bet you I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> this always throws me because, like, I always look at this in the blueprint and think that that's the display. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so... I think we need to finish this up here and come back next time. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it. Like, it sounded like you were just... Okay, finish this up here and come back next time on Epic Tech. <laughs> like, no. It just sounded like you were going right into it, and I was like, "Oh, okay. sorry, I wasn't." Yeah, that 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 would be good. I should have done that. You should have. Like you, you need but to. You need we to... needed to do a little bit more. Yeah. Like, but... we needed to say that <laughs> next time on Epic Tech, next time on this thing that we're doing here, Adventures we of will... the Royal Eclipse. Yes. Yeah, the Adventures of the Royal, Royal Eclipse. Um. Which we might need to change the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I've used it on. T I've, I, I've I've used it, it on a single video last video, and I honestly I love it. Like I really really like it. It's and a Cosmic really. Used it, it too. I know, I know, and I'm actually thinking about going back to just the regular Epic Deck one. I I like the intro, but Aww. we might not always use the Royal Eclipse. You know. That's true. Maybe yeah. we'll only use it when we're using the Royal Eclipse. <laughs> and then when we're not, something we just like have that. our normal intros or something. They're all, you know, the thing is, though, the Royal Eclipse will always... Wait, where's the Royal Eclipse? <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Eclipse will always be here. Wait, where Except is it? Except <laughs> for now. <laughs> oh, you that's... hit it. Where did you put it? Oh, that's it's just amazing. up there. We just drifted a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> we could not have actually, like, timed that better. Like, I that couldn't perfect. have. <laughs> we could not have planned that. That seriously was not planned. <laughs> No. You, you gotta move to the left a little bit. I know, I know. A little bit more to the left. It's all good. It's all good. I gotta figure it out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that really got to me. <laughs> the Warrior Eclipse will always be here. Wait, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's the funniest thing that's happened all day. <sighs> there you go. The Royal Eclipse will always be right there. <laughs> We're gonna need a gravitational anchor on this too. I just oh, realized. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 All right. So. Yeah. So. Make we... sure to join us next episode, where you, where you'll hear C Captain Kitten say, uh, "No, I don't know." I, um. Diddly 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 do. <laughs> there you go. I have, we, we have to open with that now. Just diddly 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 do. That that'll have to be the, no, the next it's episode. Not open. It's really not necessary. So, any hoodles, my noodles, I suppose that means it's the end of the episode. Thank you for joining me on an awesome 
I, I'm using it again um, <laughs> on the episode. So, we did awesome things. We'll... Yeah, I think, I think we're going to have a, a good time next episode. <laughs> You're a jerk. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll cut to the chase. Okay? So, <laughs> if you liked the episode, feel free to uh, whip that like button. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help. <laughs> Dislike button if you didn't like it. Like button if you liked it. And that means I will see you noodles in the next trainer. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>